Oh, hey guys. Uh, accidentally cut the recording right there. Oops. Messing around with default key commands and such. Um, or headspace and such, but whoops. You all could enjoy the fact that I told you about this aircraft and its name of the balls. I've been practicing all morning. You almost can see that part because it's super boring and only like 30 seconds long. It's basically my intro. So just imagine yourself like good tomato intro. And then imagine good dog fighting. Then go to Rick Weed's channel. Watch the video that way. It's IRFC. IRFC. Anyway. So I've been practicing all morning, different aircraft, just took the falls out, and uh, I've been doing stuff with uh, some guy commented on my um, early videos, I should try deflection shooting more and such. Just stop with Dolphin, just gonna... Come in and... I am surprising Carnet! Seriously, dude, there's no escape. Just... Alright, I'm not really sure what he's trying to do now. Most people by this point in time have done some sort of maneuver. He's flying over our airbase, however, so... This isn't exactly the best kind of base maneuver, but hey, that's a good way to start off the video. Bye! Is he still under control? Good fight. Another fall right over there. It's coming for me. I'm getting falls, not an accurate DH4. That looks like a hand riot. Am I leaking anything? No. Mm -hmm. This bad, I should climb. I must be messing with my response curves, so if my flying looks better, tell me. If it looks even worse than before, also tell me. Because I'm, I'm really here to learn these first few videos. I know I'm making the videos, but I'm, I'll admit I'm not the best fighter pilot ever in history. I'll probably go to... I want to say Udet. It's not Udet, it's um... It's that guy from the Eastern Front with like 350 kills. He's a total beast. Yeah, we put a lot of good shots into the Dolphin. I'm happy. I'm happy with how this episode started off. It started off with the violence and me winning the violence. Yay, violence. I like this fall. Also, I've learned to pretty much never slow down. i also learned that these helpful gauges can be helpful, because I can now figure out how my radiator works. More or less. For the Albatross, more. That's nice. Nope. Five below the gunner. Missed. You're at least stall out, because I'm not paying attention and I'm a dunce. Pull out and level off. This guy coming in fast. I'm gonna start climbing away from him. Because, yep, I was right. I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right, I was right. Okay, we need more speed. And less engine. Never mind, doing that. I just realized I threw away my advantage. Whatever advantage I had. Breaking hard. Get the speed, pull back up.
damn it. Oh shit. Um Welcome to World War One. Yeah, I fucked that up. I fucked up that entire engagement. I'm lucky I was able to survive as long as I did. I need to stop clicking on this thing, because I always have the default default selected, I think. Yeah, that's the falls. Beautiful little plane. Nice to fly to. I think it were like a faster albatross. I think she's faster at least. She's, I know she's lighter. She looks lighter to me. Because the thinner tail section. Oh shit! Almost... Almost gave Hans a haircut. This is why you pay attention to your takeoff roll, children. What are those things? Fuel line? Is this my fuel tank in the top? slightly worried about the, the exposure of my fuel tank, but then again, everyone always winds up exploding in this game anyway. One big explosion fest. Kaboom. Lots of kaboom. Kaboom, fantastic. Kaboom, boom-tastic. There's an SC-5A. I'll bet you that's Hell's Angels. He's been counting on me all day. This is why you don't become preoccupied! You can just use me as a big example of bad things to do in fighter combat. Like running into enemy lines where there's more than three fighters constantly. Running out of speed! Losing sight of your opponent. No, I'm not getting track IR. I need to put some bolts into this guy. Or that. Really, I need to put some bolts into that guy. Fuck off! And he's coming up on the yards. The rolling scissors. I don't know if I'm better at this or not. The rolling scissors in terms of playing, but I managed to survive long enough to put him onto the defensive versus two. That has been the best engagement I've had all day. I actually... I'm not dead! I'm not dead! Yeah, no, I'm not getting distracted. Fighter planes are deadly when you're distracted. Speaking of being distracted, I'm distracted by that guy who I'm trying not to get distracted from. He's going to outclimb me, so I'm going to break away towards friendly lines. Since I can't get an advantage against him. Put him at least at a 90. At the most a 90, I mean. Breaking back in.
Oh, I guess we both went down. Whoops. I suppose I was supposed to pull up at that point in time. Oh well. Hmm. I know I put some accurate shots into him. Those head on passes. You're supposed to do them from a, an angle off to the right. Never been able to do it. So just continue on with my deadly habits of that don't work anyway. But yeah, I survived somehow. That's an improvement. Well, I survived the initial fight, not the whole thing. But still, two on one, pretty good for me. I'm starting to like that advice. Keep your speed up. Fly defensively. Eventually, someone will fall into your gun sight. Not really even defensively. Fly aggressively defensively. Aggressively defensive. Fly in a way that keeps your play in the air, but only just. This is wasting energy. long to fight, I can come in with a height advantage. Then again, there's a big fight going on over here, and it'd be kind of cowardly to not show up. Yeah, we'll continue on with that mission to the airfield. I also edited my response curve, so I don't have to touch my controls as much. Mm. I can finally fly using mostly my feet. Sometimes. I've also discovered that staying on someone's six is only advisable when they're, you know, going about as fast as you and under certain circumstances. Which really applies to most combat. Everything's only advisable under certain circumstances. Okay, so where's the throttle on this thing? Oh, that handle. That'd be insane in some high G turns. You're like, Urgh. no, they don't have to have those this time period. High G turns. Surprise, it's me! Hammerhead! <laughs> Duck underneath everyone. Put into a not as gentle as I thought left hand turn. Oh, gun crunched up on me. gonna turn with this guy. Myself tripped outside a little bit. The left wing's looking a bit shot to hell. Trying to land. I always let people land.
I've also got the uh, Requiem Rise of Flight trailer stuck in my head. Really stuck in my head like a lot. I really, really, really like that song. There's no comments on that video. You should go like the spam comment it. Things like your video is amazing and we love you reflected. It. Not Requiem. Like it. There's Mr. Hell's Angels. Seriously, they make a lot of great rise of flight. They made like two rise of flight songs, but I like both of them. Both of them like airplane and piano and semi rock. I wonder if this will tell me where I am. Everyone hanging out at Outline, and we're over here in the Shampoo Bird. And there's Dungle my Ryan. No! We had such a good fight plan! And... All my friends are dead. I guess I can pull my engine power back at least. World War One. Go for yourself. There's a temperature gauge on here. I'm gonna pull back to a thousand. God, a thousand RPM. Barely idle in our aircraft today. Heck, 16,000 is not even considered, like, safe for flying in over half the aircraft I know of. Or that I've flown. Actually, in all the aircraft I've flown, 16,000 is the descending speed, and this one is the blow up your engine. Shows you how light these planes are. I might actually be overcooling the engine. Pull that back in a little bit. Not really sure. I need a thermometer. But I don't have a thermometer. I'm just gonna open it most of the way. No, we're up actually kinda high. It should be closed a bit. That'll do. Oh. And I've turned off on my camera. Otherwise it'll cool too much and our engine will explode. Yep, there we go, see? Stop. Um... I'm gonna turn my engine off to be safe. It's totally not failing. Yeah. On the bright side, I know what happened. And 
the NRB wants to this is a challenge to shoot someone down with lightning. So with no engine power or brain power whatsoever. This is mostly because I need to find the quickest way down to the ground. And the quickest way to do that is to get into a fight. Alright, I'll admit it. I fucked that landing up. A lot. Like, I really fucked it up. Like, there's the normal amount that I fucked things up, and then there's that. I super fucked up. Oh yeah, and the access has been jumping between airfields all day. Oh god, it's Gary! That AA can really be deadly when I'm flying around it. Remember, I shot down a guy and just as I put the final holes into his... Or, well, second final hold. I had one more gun run that I got, but he, AI hit me right in the tail. Myself out of that friction. The thing about those SC5As is they got a hell of an engine in them. I already know where he's gonna go. He's gonna to turn around and come back this way. So I can do that. I don't know if I got him, but someone got him. The little guy has an ally plane, might jump, jump in. Ah, but we got a high spad. Five more minutes. I've been recording this entire thing without any cuts whatsoever, so I'll probably make some little random cuts inside the video. <clears throat> so this will all be one big take, so I'm sorry if I kind of chop off myself in the middle of a joke or something. I really wish there was a US server. I haven't seen your name for a long, long time. Oh shit! Alright, he's not engaged. He is engaged. Ooh, that was a lucky shot, and you know it. Better be really damn skilled. I see 
Flat bay is coming. I need defense to run the hell away. Twenty-five and break. Way too much speed. I'm putting into a dive. Oh shit! <laughs> I got two of them on accident. <laughs> Don't crowd your targets. Shit happens. And uh, with this ending in like five minutes, I'm just gonna play till the end and we'll cut it there. Maybe upload this entire thing as an Uber episode. Das Uber episode. I'm really liking this falls though. I'm able to do stuff with it. it has good speedy things about it. it speaks to me on a speedy level. Gary. Um. Uh, <laughs> the AI doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Shoot him as you're taking off. I've got one minute till the end of the mission. I'm just gonna say the axe is effectively lost in this battle. I'm just gonna keep peppering this truck. See what I mean? That stuff can be damn accurate when you're going slow. But hey, I got a truck. I got another truck. Oh, someone knows who Biggles is. I'm so happy. Used to read those books all the time. Oh, best World War One books ever. And I got two kills. And I died four times. There were non-human planes here. And I suck at shooting things. But hey, point five. KD rate is pretty good for me. <laughs> good job, me, not being dead all the time. Anyway, that's going to be in the episode. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.